admirers seem to follow me everywhere. Pleased to see you, my stalker friend. You made it all the way here unbothered by ruffians. You've got talent. I've never seen you before, but who cares? This may well benefit our former client. Did you catch that subtle whiff of money in the air? Moneybags himself, Lorenzini Vanini, is inside this factory this very moment. You caught us on our return trip. We had to deny his ridiculous request in person just to be sure it wasn't a joke. All we could do was laugh. Keep your whispers up if you're heading in there. He is the richest man in Krat. Or so they say. Who knows? Maybe he's handing out bags of money to lift his spirits. Ha! <laughs> that seems unlikely. No way are we doing that. Well, anyhow, best of luck. Best of luck to you, my friend. Are you carrying the latest edition of Benini's Landmark Guide? It's the most popular non-fiction work in Kratz these days. Maduro wrote the actual guide, but Benini published and financed it. It goes for a premium at the shop, but Maduro might not get his cut. He went missing recently, which of course made that volume more popular than ever. If you can get all three volumes collectors want, bet you can get four. No, five thousand for it at the shop. But you're in luck. I have a conscience and a powerful sense of self-preservation. I'll let this one go for five hundred. That's a good investment. Don't sleep through it. You'll wish you had this, and the price is a steal. Let me know if you have any interest. Smart bargainer when I see one, and you <laughs> really are something. I'm sure you'll regret nothing.
best of luck to you, my friend. and dashing philanthropist in need of assistance. together. You have a duty to this city and to your own sterling reputation. Uh, a little help? Anyone? Surely we can discuss this like reasonable people? Hold on. Geppetto's a friend of yours. Did he send you? I, I'm, I, I'm fine. Please, help me find my butler Pulcinella. He's a puppet and a friend. Those stalkers were supposed to be working for me, but... Well... They bolted and left me to my fate. That was not helpful. My butler went to barricade the back door, and I haven't seen him since. Pulcinella has been a loyal companion. I'd hate to lose him. The factory is, of course, my priority. We must take it back. But please, keep an eye out for my... for my butler. I'd consider it a personal favor and owe you in kind. Before all this, uh, this chaos, Fuoco was the puppet in charge of the furnace. But he changed. He was a stand-up fellow once. Now, not so much. I'm told he's still building an army of puppets and marching them on the cathedral. How did this nightmare come to be? Please. You must stop him before he does any more harm. Before all this, uh, I'm told... How did...
do we have here? A broken butler puppet. Now, I seem to remember someone on the second floor. Think it belongs to him? We gotta ask what happened sometime. Now's good. my power to help you. I am able to wield Ergo. They call me a listener. Because I can hear Ergo. I inherited the power from my mother, who hated it. Called it the Devil's Power. So I kept it a secret that I could talk to puppets. Now you are the only one my voice reaches. So I beg you, please, save Krat. It isn't my savior. Glad to see you made it back in one piece, my friend. There you are, my boy. My savior, yes, that's the word. You took back the factory, and I cannot thank you enough. Without the factory, no more new puppets. The army has run out of recruits. My friend, you saved... Well, all of us. Ah, but listen to me going on and on about my concerns, and I don't believe I've even introduced myself. Signor Lorenzini Venigni, gentlemen, bon vivant, and at the moment, utterly at your service, my friend. If the name Venigni rings no bells, perhaps you've heard of Kratz, Prince of High Society. That is because they are one and the same. Just two of the many names I've collected in my three decades here on Earth. While I sincerely believe meeting Venigni is its own reward, I have not rewarded you in the more uh, traditional manner. Please, take this. My newest prototype. It'll be safe with you. It's a grinder stone that keeps granting special attributes to the grinder. I hope you'll put it to good use. Ah, then my eyes do not deceive me. I never imagined I'd actually see it again, and in the flesh, so to speak. I just designed it, set it aside, and never got back to it. Genius and the claim can keep one quite preoccupied, I'm afraid. You are really interested in the arm, I see. Then, my friend, you shall have it. It just needs a few mechanical adjustments to fit your um, particular needs. And frankly, this design is almost child's play to me now, so let's start by making it a bit stronger, shall we? I will also add what we brilliant inventors call modularity. That means it will be much easier to improve and repair since you'll be able to use commonly found parts. You might say this arm's new abilities are... Uh, legion! <laughs> no? Too much? It was too much. I always welcome friends. May I be of service?
Of course you're curious. Pulcinella has been restored thanks to you. In a small way. Mostly it was me, but uh, you know, genius never rests. Except for beauty rest. <laughs> Pulcinella isn't just my butler. He's my family. The only one I have left, really. I won't forget what you've done for us. If you ever need anything or find yourself in a spot of trouble, call on your friend Venigni. I always welcome friends. May I be of service? No one, not even I, know what started the puppet frenzy. Why? That day of all days... Ah, it was horrible. A violent rampage of murder and mayhem that is seared into my memory for all time. And it was never supposed to happen again. I made sure of it. Designed a few special parts to ensure they'd remain loyal. Puppet armies do not arise by chance. There was intent behind this. I don't want to leap to conclusions, but... The only one I know with that kind of power is the King of Puppets himself. I... We need to learn how this happened. one slick prototype. You think it's a tram for... crickets? Buongiorno, and welcome to the house of Vanini. I am Master Vanini's Major Domo, Pulcinella, 
at your service, sir. The House of Vanini carries only the finest in luxury merchandise. I believe you'll find all items to be both superior quality and distinguished provenance. I am certain you will be able to find something that suits you, sir. At the House of Vanini, even priceless things have a price. Every item is a treasure of distinguished quality and superior provenance. every puppet in Krat. It is not surprising that some puppets broke away from the Grand Covenant. I've no idea how many. I remember a few ergo puppets behaving according to their own volition before the frenzy. That wasn't our intention. They were never designed to act that way. But if a puppet starts acting on its own, does that mean the puppet has free will? Or is someone else controlling the puppet? The city of Krat. It's probably not how you remember it, eh? Ask me any questions, and I'll fill in the gaps. 